you got to look at how people treat other people. Like, if I'm around somebody and I hear them, like, talking about somebody bad and it's their friend that they're talking about, I'm like, whoa, this is red flag. Hi, family. I'm Marcelle Sade, and I have a word for you today. These people be telling on themselves, so it really be up to us to decide, like, hmm, do I want to, you know, p keep this person in my life? Or if it is a person in business, it's like you keep it strictly business and you don't want to entertain, you know, those type of relationships because it's like, it's going to eventually rub off on you. Oh, it's a scripture about that. Yes. Listen, what's the scripture? I was just studying. I was just studying about this in the Bible. I'm about to show y'all. Because me and my cousin, we be doing Bible study. All right, y'all, look, it's in the Bible. Look. Don't befriend angry people or associate with hot-tempered people or you will learn to be like them and endanger your soul. So that goes to show you that whoever you be around, you will pick up on their traits. See, okay, so if you're anything like me, I'm an actress. So I tend to pick up on people's traits and not even intentionally know that I'm doing that. So if I'm hanging around someone for a long, for like, or if I'm even talking to them on the phone, I tend to pick up on their mannerisms and the way they talk. And at times I really don't like that I do that because people used to misunderstand me and think that, oh, I was not being true to myself, but it's literally a gift that I have. Like if I study someone's mannerisms, I can imitate it. So that's why it's so important that Whoever I choose and whoever we choose, we must be mindful of that. And not only just that, because, listen, let's just keep it real. Whoever you be around, you're going to eventually fall into whatever they're doing. For real, because I remember I had a friend when I was younger, and she was a little bit older than me. And she would be like, you know, doing doing things that were of her age range. And so I fell into it too because, you know, I was like, ooh. And at the time I was already, you know, curious about those things that she was doing. I just never was, it wasn't the time for me to do it. But I made it time then because she was already in it. So I was curious enough to figure it out. I end up doing things that she was doing which was it didn't turn out to be good for me so at times we unconsciously make decisions you know not thinking of the outcome that may come about from doing those things sometimes you know we don't think that far it's just or you may walk into it blindly not knowing the consequences that's gonna come out of come out of it you know so we just got to be mindful of the company that we keep because remember you are valuable. Okay? And you are port you and you are important. We all have a purpose here on this earth. It's just that we got to make sure that we hit that mark. Okay? <laughs> and make sure we are in our purpose every single day. You know, and I see why people always say that it'd be lonely at the top because, baby, whenever you are walking in your purpose and you are doing things that are of God and listening to God and following God, baby, this walk is so tricky when it comes to you wanting to be around many people or have a lot of friends and have everybody love you because, baby, this walk is narrow. This walk is narrow. Don't expect to have a bunch of friends and things like that. No, not when you're walking with God because a lot of things and people are of this world. 
So don't feel any type of way if, you know, you're pivoting in life and you're involving and you're not wanting to do those type of things because God will align you with your tribe and your friends. Don't feel like you have to be of this world just to have friends. Oh, absolutely not. No, you are way more strong and more powerful than that. You don't fall weak to the enemy just because of whatever it is. No. It's okay. You can still be yourself and be following the word of God. You can still be yourself. It's just that some things... You have to break off of your life. Like, the reason why I stopped drinking was because it was opening up portals for the enemy to come into my life. I would drink and then I would call my ex that I know had a demonic spirit on him. You see what drinking will allow you to do? So it's like, I had to cut those portals off. And ever since I did that and... Stop smoking. I had to do those things for me. You know, everybody's, you know, I'm not saying that you have to do these things. I'm just allowing you to know what allowed me to build my relationship with God and what helped me to get closer to God. I had to go through those things to strengthen my relationship with God, to be able to hear him and Gain the discernment and the wisdom and the knowledge that he wanted me to gain so that I can grow in life and get to that next level of my blessings. I was willing to sacrifice because I said, you know what? This life that I'm living now that's in my own strength, I am not receiving what I want, the results that I want. And it ends today. Okay, and sometimes you just got to keep it real with yourself and you got to put your foot down like, listen, Shell, what we doing, girl? What we doing, homeboy? You know what I'm saying? All right, you know, I'll be on here talking to y'all for so long because, baby, I got something to say. Okay? So, I love y'all. And just know... If you're feeling anything, call on God. God, I'm struggling in this area. Help me. <laughs> and I know some people be in the comments like, oh, you're not supposed to ask God, you know, for this and that. Listen, we got a bond in a relationship. You think I ain't finna call on him? <laughs> nah, but... I'm going to have to learn more about that, y'all. When y'all talking about don't call on God, I don't know. I'm going to have to learn more about that. You know, I'm still learning, but I am open to sharing the wisdom and the knowledge that I am gaining from God with you guys. Okay? So, I'm not perfect. Don't never think that. I am still learning and growing. And I will deliver the answers that I learned from God to you. Okay? I will make that promise. So, all right. I love you guys. It's all love. L-O-H-V.